According to Uncle Quentin, Billy Cock Hill's the next hill we come to. He seems to know the area, Will. Nice daddy for you. He never came to see us, though. He's working on something at the moment. Had to go away for a day or two. His directions were far better than Toby's, and he lives here. What's it like at Toby's? Oh, it should be fun. There's a butterfly farm there. Whatever's that? Oh, it's a place where they breed butterflies and, and moths, of course. How do they do it? Oh, really, Anne. From eggs. It's a way of protecting them. Rare species are threatened by extinction. Can we go there? Oh, Toby says so. I like the sound of Toby. <sighs> He's all right. He, he can just be a bit silly at school sometimes, though. What do you mean? Well, he likes to play jokes on people. Jokes? Well, what sort of jokes? He's got this flower, uh, and he's holding it, and he asks you to smell it. What's so, wrong with that? Well, when you bend your head over, he, well, he squirts water in your face. He better not try any tricks like that on me. Don't get worked up, George. We're on a holiday. Toby's right. He can just be a bit of an ass at times, sir. Pretty certain it's Billycock Hill. Look. Let's get moving, then. Oh, good. We're just in time for tea. That sounds like Toby. Come on, Jim. Very funny. I hope you won't do such a thing to the girls. Of course not. Where are the girls? Outside. <coughs> OK, Binky, he's a friend. <coughs> Make friends, Timmy. <coughs> you must be Georgina. George, if you don't mind. Anything you say, George. I'm Anne. Hello. Come along in, children. You must be hungry. Wash your hands at the sink while I brew the tea. And I'll sort out your names while you eat. Toby's fixed up tents for you. And you must come here each day for eggs and milk and the like. And don't be afraid to ask. Thank you, Mrs Thomas. You've thought of everything, Toby. Yep, even a radio. Great. We can keep in touch with the world. will be fine. There's a spring over there, and the bushes will protect us from bad weather. Let's hope we won't need any protection. Oh, look at the view. It's so beautiful. Toby, what's that? It's an airfield, RAF. Oh, wow. It's a bit hush-hush. You mean it's secret? But it's not a secret if we can see it. They try out secret planes there. My cousin Jeff works there. He's a flight lieutenant. He tells me things. He shouldn't tell you things that are secret, should he? Well, he doesn't exactly tell me. You mean you put two and two together? That's right, Dick. You're just boasting. No, it really is an experimental place. Jeff's a test pilot. Do you think we could meet Jeff? Sure. He comes to the farmhouse sometimes to come and see us. Would he take us up? Dick really wants to be a pilot. He's not allowed to take anybody up. Oh, what a shame. I ought to be off now. Shall I help you pitch the tents? No. We'll manage. So long, then. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 I like him. He's nice and helpful. Yes, I like him. Ah! Oh! Oh! Look out! Oh! Oh! Timmy, leave oh! it! One of Toby's jokes. Joke? 
You see what you mean about him being silly? Nine o'clock. Oh, I'm so stiff. Come on, some exercises will put us right. <laughs> oh, Julian, stop it. You're making me ill looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> People, have they permission to be here? Oh, yes. confound it. As I was saying, all these people, it's quite a crowd, eh? These are my friends, Mr. Gringle. And yes, we do have permission. My father knows we're here. This is Mr. Gringle from the butterfly farm. How do you How do, do, you do, do Mr. Gringle? Yeah, yes, three boys and a girl. <laughs> well, don't drop any litter or start any fires while you're in the lovely countryside, eh? We wouldn't dream of it, Mr. Gringle. May we come and see your butterfly farm? Oh, with pleasure, my dear boy. <laughs> come along. Are there many rare butterflies around here, Mr. Gringle? Oh, still a fair number. Though we don't advertise the fact, and don't you either. Can't have people swamping the place, destroying habitat, stealing specimens. Steal? Oh, exactly. Yes, we only catch butterflies to breed from them. The collectors pin them on the boards to 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 boast a bite. Yes, and, and to sell for high prices. Oh, gangsters, I call them. Nasty, ruthless. Ops, oh, look. That's a brown argus. <laughs> <laughs> someone like that. He used to do our jobs for my father. Not very well, though. Toby, what's Mr. Gringle's partner like? Mr. Brent, I don't know. I've never seen him. He goes away a lot. Lecturing, I think. Mr. Gringle gives me the creeps, staring through those glasses. He's like an insect. His funny eyes and thin legs. And that jacket, flapping like wings. <laughs> <laughs> It's hot. Ah! 
spiders. I'm not afraid. It gave me a shock. OK, Toby. Joke's over. Put it away and grow up. Joke. I'll pay you back, Toby. You just wait. Oh, I wish we could go and bathe somewhere. I know a pool. Really? Where? I'll show you. We pass near the farm on the way so I can get my trunks. OK. Well, it looks like we can't bathe after all. Take no notice of that. It doesn't mean a thing. But it says danger. There's nothing dangerous here. It's the aeroplanes. But the sign says keep out. Scaredy cat girl, eh? I'm not scared. Are you sure it's all right? Absolutely. That notice has been there for years. Whispering. And you should know that. I've had trouble with you before hanging about up there by the hangers. I went to see my cousin. Your cousin's been warned to keep you off. And let me catch you here again. I'll put you in the cooler. I'm sorry if we've caused you any trouble, Sergeant. We should have checked first before we used the pool. Certainly you should have. Now, it's possible the CO can give you permission, but I can't. So, off you go now. Fast! Well, Jeff, it seems to be operating perfectly. It certainly does. The MOD think I'm being overcautious asking for another test. What do you think? I think you're right, sir. You can't test enough, in my opinion. I'd really like to try that night tracking device again. It's not having problems, is it? No, no, on the contrary. You've really surpassed yourself with that one. Oh, thank you. I'd just like to give it the once over one more time. Uh, excuse me, sir? Yes, Sergeant. What is it? Uh, your cousin. I'm afraid he's been down the pool again, sir. And you've got four other children with him this time. All right, thank you, Sergeant. Georgina, I forgot they were staying with young Toby. Just wait till I get my hands on No, 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 I'll go. Better they don't see you. I mean, after all, there's nothing suspicious about an airman on an airfield, is there? Oh, very well, then. I'll just go through these calculations one more time. I'm really sorry I got you into trouble. Forget it. Just don't do it again, that's all. Come to tea! It's my cousin, Jeff! Hello. Jolly glad to meet you all. Timmy must like you. And I like him. And you are? I'm Georgina. I mean George. Oh, come on. Let's go get some tea. I'm Anne. And I'm Dick. Don't be misled by the fact that the airfield is not fenced off. There are guards all about. Yes, we know. We went to the pool. I know. Toby made a mistake. He should have known better. I'm sorry. Careful checks are kept on all strangers who arrive in the district. Even us? Even you. Wow. You mean we're being watched? Well, that's how I knew all about you. Mind you, they only told me there was one little girl. Say ahead, little thing. Didn't say anything about you. You are a boy, aren't you, George? Yes. I mean, no. Toby says just the top test pilot in Britain. I'm not surprised. He replies like a hawk. And you would know, wouldn't you, George? Yeah, you were looking into them enough. No, I wasn't. I wasn't! Look. It's a monarch. But I haven't seen one like that before. Let's take it to Mr. Gringle. Anyone got a hanky? Me, of course. I'll find a box for it. I don't fancy meeting that horrible man again. Nor me. You stay here. 
Dick and I'll go. We won't be long. Mr. Gringle. You must be Mr. Brent then. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mr. Gringle's away. Can I help you? We found this butterfly. You think it may be rare? Yeah. Well, I. Um... Uh, we think it's some kind of monarch. Oh, yeah. Fine specimen. Oh, I'll buy it from you. Oh, no. You can have it. Is it a monarch? Oh, uh, I wouldn't like to commit myself at this stage. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, well. Here we are. Yes, we are here. We're pretty sure it's a monarch. Oh, yeah. Quite likely. Let me have it. Well, I'll tell my <clears throat> colleague, you call. Don't hang around, eh? He's even more weird than Mr. Gringle. Timmy! Timmy! Anne, have you seen Timmy? No. Timmy! Far. Can't see much of that torch. But I just see his passage going right inside the hill. Let's get back. The boys might be looking for us. It's a really weird place. But those two butterfly men are both very peculiar. And that miserable old James. Well, we won't go there again. We found a cave, Julian, just above the track. Oh, well, they're doing days back again. And there was this passage. <laughs> Tell us about the cave, George. Shame. I was enjoying that music. Someone's outside. Shh. Julian, I'm with you. traps to collect any that were trapped before it starts to rain. Is Mr. Gringle with you? Somewhere about. Well, better move on before I get struck by lightning. <laughs> Dick, look, there's a light on at the 
the airfield. There's someone in the hangar. Checking on his honey traps. A plane? In this weather? Whatever's going on? I hope it's not Jeff. It'll be terrible if he crashed. Jeff wouldn't crash. He's got eyes like a hawk. Shut up, Dick. And so blue. Stop it, you two. Anyway, why should Jeff be out on a night like this? This airfield's small and right off the beaten track. The plane in difficulties will go to one of the main ones. <coughs> Must be an awful lot of rabbits about. OK, let's go. Keep together and look out for the ropes. One day. 